Holy smokes, it ain't no jokes. The stock market just hit an all time high. Plus, Bitcoin hash rate hit an all time high as well. What does this mean for the cryptocurrency market? Plus, a massive shift that usually indicates a massive sell off is about 30 days away. What is it? I'll explain and why I'm not as concerned as I would be usually. To figure out what that is, you're going to have to watch all the way to the end. All I ask is that you give me a beautiful smile, smash that like button, and let's get into it. So, the crypto market has recovered a little bit here. Uh, Bitcoin is at 41,738, up uh, 1%. You can see it dipped almost to 40,000 here this morning, uh, but now we are seeing a recovery of about 3.6% uh, in the last uh, six hours. And we are seeing the stock market uh, hit all-time high. The S&P 500 uh, crossed the previous all-time high. Uh, and now we are seeing a new all-time high uh, for the S&P 500. The market has already closed, so it's official. Uh, and this is something that I predicted a few months ago. Uh, you can see uh, when we were inside this uh, downtrend here, I predicted that we would see a rally back to all-time highs. I actually missed by three weeks because my prediction was that we would hit it by the end of uh, the year. It got very close. It didn't happen. I take like an uh, uh, 80 on it, like, you know, a grade uh, because it it did happen. It was just a few weeks off, you know, manipulation and, and all that. <laughs> um, but I, I, my second uh, um, uh, prediction was uh, 5,000 by the end of January. It could happen. We'll see what what is the momentum into next week. If you Do you remember? I don't know. It was like, I think when we were around here, it came out that Michael Burry had bought a significant amount of puts on the QQQ and everybody was like, well, is Michael Burry going to be uh, correct again? And everybody was making videos and it was all like, the market is going to crash. Michael Burry is, 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 is going to be right again. And now he's probably down bigger. He closed his positions. Uh, you know, people were fighting with me in the comment section about it. And here we go. The market does what the market wants to go, where it wants to go. And the market uh, went back up. Um, so this is a, you know, a... Uh, uh, amazing uh you know recovery here for the uh stock market wow nvidia is almost at uh, 600 you know it could be my biggest uh, holding <laughs> i have to check um it's it's kind of so much <laughs> it's it's almost more than amazon i think which is which is crazy right um and i think microsoft is uh the top dog now i think it passed uh apple 2.96 and apple is 2. 9.2, right? 9.6 as well. Ah, so they're very, very close. So it's like a race uh, here to the to the top. 9.63. Yeah, so Microsoft is, is uh, higher now. Also, Microsoft, uh, all-time highs. Uh, Bill Gates and uh, Steve Ballmer are very happy. <laughs> I read uh, somewhere uh, that Steve Ballmer, he was the CEO of Microsoft for, for a long time um, after Bill Gates left. He makes on just dividends, Microsoft dividends, $1 billion every single year. He sits back, he doesn't do anything, right? It doesn't matter, the stock goes up, the stock goes down, he makes dividends, right? Uh, billion dollars every single year, just dividends of Microsoft stock. That's crazy, right? <laughs> um, so it will be interesting to see where the stock market goes and will that affect the crypto market because we're talking about this lately that bitcoin and the crypto market have a lot more correlation to the stock market uh, now that we have bitcoin etfs and that correlation will grow um in 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 a way which i'll explain uh in just a few minutes so make sure to watch all the way to the end of course we are seeing that Grayscale continues to transfer more and more Bitcoin uh, out of uh, their their funds, their trust, and into uh, Coinbase with another uh, twelve thousand going. So the the buying the selling pressure on Bitcoin continues here, and yet we're not under even forty thousand. So I think this is showing great strength uh, for Bitcoin. The stochastic flow continues to be very very low, with a high probability of a recovery here. Of course, uh, you know. Um, we saw uh, um, Jim Cramer uh, say that we were at a top, uh, so we can't let Jim be right, guys. We have to pump. 
I'm just joking, of course. Um, but I, I saw a few tweets like that today. <laughs> we can't let Jim be right. <laughs> uh, and so it will be interesting to see uh, where we where we go from here. Uh, and uh, there was also a sale of a unknown entity that purchased a hundred thousand Bitcoin worth about four point eight billion during Bitcoin's run to all-time high in 2021 last week they finally broke even at 49,000 and decided to sell is that why bitcoin is struggling this week interesting right uh, you know it hit all the way to 49,000 that's when they broke even uh, so there's a lot of you know things that could have created this uh, sell-off here um but we're, we're rolling with it it's part of the crypto market a 20 percent and 50 percent drop for for bitcoin for crypto it's it's you know it happens every single bull market it happens every single run up it happens uh and it's not something you know that 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 concerns me too much just like look here right on the way up here the market fell from 38,000 all the way down to uh, uh 34,000 right and there was an 8% drop right did it freak me out back then no uh, and then we had here a few weeks ago a drop uh, from uh uh 44,000 to 40,000 again, right? These things happen, it's part of the market um, and it is what it is, right? So we saw all-time high in the stock market, but there was another all-time high here, uh, not that yet, not that. Uh, Bitcoin saw its hash rate hit a uh, all-time high of 500 exchange hashes, hashes per second this month. To highlight the enormity of this number, for every star in our galaxy, the Bitcoin network is calculating 5 billion computations per second. It would take 2,000 years for the entire global population, each performing one hash per second, to match the Bitcoin's network hash rate. The Bitcoin network performs 67 times more hashes per second than there are grains in the sand of the earth. By number of raw operations per second, Bitcoin is 500x more performance than the world's most powerful supercomputer yet there are skeptics out there that still believe bitcoin is backed by nothing and this will go up we will continue to get better and better and better uh and uh you know it's it's not great for uh, mining right but um it's good it's good for the for the network right and you see here elon wow <laughs> but what could affect the price of bitcoin in this would usually make me concerned if we would have gone with a company, right? Sometimes what happens is a company goes out to the market and there's a lot of hype around the company, right? It IPOs or something like that. Sometimes it comes uh, from a SPAC or something like that. And it goes and is tradable on the stock market. Well, in the first few weeks, there are no options available for trading, right? It takes it's a while and then you have options available. From my experience, Right. And this, it doesn't happen every time, but it happens more times than none. If you have an asset that explodes on the IPO, and there's been a few recent that I have seen. Uh, there was one, I forgot its name. It was like a Taiwanese company or something like that. I for, forgot exactly, but there was, there was more in the past where soon they, they went up significantly. Like I know for the crypto market, it's not big, right? <laughs> uh, but for the stock market, you know, if they, if it goes up like 400%, 500% in a matter of days, as soon as the options hit, it collapses because it gives uh, the short sellers, the longs, another tool to uh, get out, right? And to create uh, negative momentum by selling um, calls and selling uh, puts. Uh, and then they create this kind of, you could call it, uh, it's not it's not fake but it's uh, artificial pressure right and as soon as that starts happening you see a massive sell off okay and in this instance here with the it's this this has just happened previously in in a few of these that I have seen right uh, there was a, there was a time my dad bought into that taiwanese uh, thing stock and I, I warned him, I said, watch out when the options drop, it's going to fall. And that's exactly what happened. So here uh, we see the SEC has already acknowledged the 194Bs requesting the ability to trade options on spot Bitcoin ETFs. This is faster than the SEC typically moves. Options could be approved before the end of February if the SEC wants to move fast. An absolute earliest option is still 27 plus days away. Well, this gives an interesting scenario where people could hedge their Bitcoin uh, ETF uh, uh, positions. They could also use leverage. So options is, is leverage. Uh, and they could, instead of going to an exchange and 
using futures and using leverage uh, with margin, they can use options, right? And that will be interesting to see because once option comes in, the landscape changes significantly because either you have naked options where people write the options and they don't have the, the, the shares themselves, they have to have the cash to back it up, right? Or the, the broker would not let them do that. Or you have people that would have to buy the shares in order to uh, cover those options. And that will be an interesting uh, scenario, what's gonna happen uh, with that. Because Bitcoin price hasn't really run on the open, <laughs> I, I can't you know, say that it's going to for sure crash once the options uh, come out because it's not as simple as a company that's for no reason pumped up because of hype or something like that and then fell, you know, fell off once the options came. Here, of course, we have the halving, which is the, the big event. And I think the halving is a much more monumental uh, event for Bitcoin and for the crypto market than options coming out on the Bitcoin ETFs, although it's very important and it could affect how, uh, you know, the amount of Bitcoin that the Bitcoin ETFs actually need uh, going forward. So it's going to be very interesting. I don't know exactly how it's going to uh, play out there, but put that put that on your radar and, and notice what's going on there because it's going to be very, very interesting. We'll see where the crypto market goes tonight. Will it continue the stock market uh, pump here we saw this morning or will we continue this moose market this kangaroo market of going up and down and up and down and up and down uh, it will be very interesting to see how all of this is going to play out don't forget to smash the like button and check out the links in the description down below thank you for watching i hope to see you next time and like i always say let's make a lot of money